An examination of the head and the mouth at home is a very important thing to perform. It means that you don't miss anything that's building up and any accidents that may have occurred with the teeth are likely to be picked up. It's also important to have regular checks with your vet, at least annually, and this would normally be part of his vaccination visit where other, um, another examination is performed for other things. The initial examination just involves them becoming confident in what you're doing. And by rubbing your hand over their head, what you're likely to do is to pick up swellings or sore areas, particularly something that's not symmetrical one side with another. If there are any areas where they resent touching, this is something that's worthwhile noting and perhaps talking to your vet about. Once you're happy with running your hand over the head, the next thing to do is to lift the lip and just have a look at the, surf the outside surface of the teeth looking for yellowy brown deposits of calculus or tartar, these terms mean the same thing, and also for redness where the gums meet the surface of the tooth. Any red line, such as you see with Murphy, would not be considered normal and would be worthy of some form of treatment. The other thing to look for when you're lifting the lip is a smell from the mouth. The smell from the mouth should be neutral. It shouldn't be something that you feel is unpleasant, any unpleasant smell is likely to come from deposits of food that bacteria are working on, and this is not something that would be considered normal in a dog. Although dogs are very tolerant of dental pain, that doesn't mean to say they don't feel this. You will tend to find that relatively high levels of toothache can be tolerated without giving you much of an indication as an owner, but you may see a dog off food, eating from one side or another, um, perhaps dropping the food onto the floor or disinterested altogether. Uh, any of these signs are particularly good indications that he may be suffering from an oral problem. When we lift the lip with Murphy, we see the teeth are a little bit dirty, but the most important features here are that he has relatively significant smell coming from his mouth and a red line on his gums where the gums meet the teeth. This is the early stages of periodontal disease. This is the point where we would generally recommend some form of intervention by your vet, where cleaning and polishing can remove these deposits and return these tissues back to normal so that the red line disappears. And then by using home care and brushing, you can keep the mouth clean on a regular basis at home.